Hey, what's going on guys? Today I got something kind of cool here. This is the brand new fourth generation Apple TV. This retails for either $149 or $199, depending on the uh, hard drive capacity that you get. There's a 32 gigabyte and there is also a 64 gigabyte. This one I have here is the 32 gigabyte. And uh, now the new Apple TV has an app store that's only available on the fourth generation Apple TV. And uh, you can download apps and games and other stuff like that. And um, it looks identical to the older uh, third generation Apple TV, but this one here is just a little bit taller. But this one's cool because it also has a gesture control remote. And uh, we'll just go ahead and unbox it and get into it and check it all out. And then I'll just do a light setup on my television downstairs so you can just kind of see how it uh, looks. And I will also download an app and we'll just check it out really quick. But this is the brand new 32 gigabyte fourth generation Apple TV. All right, guys. Okay, guys, here's the fourth gen Apple TV, brand new from Apple. And let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so I ordered this from uh, bestbuy.com for store pickup. Had it sitting here a couple days, just haven't had time to open it and set it up for you guys. But sorry I'm a little late, but here we go. Okay. Nice box there. That's one thing about Apple, their packaging is always very, very nice. Okay, so inside here, we have the unit itself. Now this one's just thicker. It almost looks like two old Apple TV stacked on top of each other. This one is just thicker compared to the third generation. Okay, let's take the plastic off of here. Okay. It's heavier, definitely. And then we have some uh, plastic around here. Let's go ahead and take that off. Alright, and looks like something under here as well. Peel that off. Revealing this nice little matte rubberized uh, finish on the bottom here to probably keep it from sliding around too much. Okay, there's that. And here is the new gesture control remote. Now you have your Siri button, you could hold that down and talk to it, like search for comedies or uh, watch action movies. And Siri will go ahead and bring that up for you. And here's your play pause. Here's your uh, volume up, volume down. And then a uh, menu button. And then I'm guessing that might be the source button. We'll figure that out. And then the top portion up here is just for gesture controls, like up, down, left, right, and all that. And then I believe you push down in the middle, you hear that? And that would be your enter button. Okay. Take the plastic off there. And this is a little bit bigger than the old remote. Let me grab my old remote and my old unit so you guys can uh, check it out and see what it looks like side okay, by so side. I got, here's the new remote and I have my uh, old remote right here. This is for the older Apple TV third generation. Looking on the back here, now this one would take like a watch size battery where you could uh, unscrew this or turn it and pop it off and put in a new battery. The new remote, which is kind of cool, it has a rechargeable battery inside and you go ahead and just charge it right there with the lightning connector. Now, uh, this has the Surrey, uh, or excuse me, it has the microphone up top here. And then right here, this is your touch glass surface, like I was saying, and then you even push down and you know, you could hear it there. And this is your uh, home button, actually, right there. Volume up, volume down, and Surrey. And uh, I'm real eager to try out this Surrey search uh, process, see how that works. It'd be nice to just say, you know, hold it down and say, uh, show me action movies, or uh, play anything with Tom Cruise, or show me Tom Cruise movies. So I'm interested to try that. And it's nice that I'll be able to recharge this and not have to put in batteries every so often. So here is my old Apple TV here and then here is a new one and like I said you see it's almost just like two of them so probably like one and a half. So there's the new one, there's the old one, then we'll look on the back here 
and uh, very simplified here this is your USB-C power HDMI and Ethernet that's one thing about Apple they keep things very simple there is no optical out on the new one okay and this has the new A8 processor inside 64-bit so which means uh, it's gonna be moving you'll probably be able to go through the menu really quick <clears throat> probably not that much buffering time and it'll go ahead and uh, navigate through the menu for you pretty good and uh, one thing people are excited about with this for sure is being able to have its own dedicated app store and be able to play um, video games as well so uh, you know what put this on my 12 south dock right there and go ahead and charge my remote while I'm talking to you guys right okay so I'm gonna go ahead go down set it up we'll go through the menu really quick and uh let's see what else they give us here this looks like our power cord all right what do we have here let's get started probably a quick setup guide and that's nice of them to throw in a lightning connector so you could charge your um remote and i believe that's it pretty cool now for me, my again, you could also rent movies on Apple TV, uh, 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 buy shows, buy movies. Me, I have a extensive home library on my iTunes. Now, what this for my main purpose? Why I like Apple TV is I have a bunch of these around my house. This will actually be my fourth or fifth one in the house. Uh, and I have an extensive iTunes library. I buy a lot of movies, and then I from the store and then I put my digital copies inside my iTunes library that way anybody can access it within my house so for me this is great this is a way for people to access all of that content in iTunes around the house now if you have your own content not let's let's say not purchased from iTunes or from a digital copy uh, there's an app you could download as well it's called Plex for the Apple TV and you could just take whatever your own content is off of your computer and stream it to an Apple TV device. So, all right guys. All right guys, so I got my new Apple TV here and uh, I'm just gonna do a quick installation. Just plug in the HDMI and then uh, and the power and the ethernet. I, I have all my stuff hardwired. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and install that and I also charge my remote. Uh, when you are charging it, there's no way to tell if it's charging or not while it's, plug while it's plugged in through the lightning connector on the bottom. Who knows, maybe they'll show some sort of on-screen display on top, but uh, or why the screen is on. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take like 30 seconds and plug this in, and then uh, we'll set it up and see what it looks like. Alright guys. Okay, it is telling us in different languages to touch the trackpad here, which is this right here. You know where my thumb is so I push down on it and it's asking us uh, what language English United States now this is cool see I'm just sliding my thumb back and forth with the gesture controls it's pretty cool all right Set up your Apple TV use your iOS device automatically add your Apple TV and Wi-Fi settings set up manually. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Requires iOS 9.1 or later, not available on the iPad 2. So I'm going to use my iPhone 6S here and uh, go through the setup. I'm going to go through setup with device. So let me grab my 6S. Okay, to set it up with your iOS device, it's saying unlock your iOS device, enable Bluetooth, and hold it close to your Apple TV. So I'm going to do that. Let's check it out. Uh, I'm going to select you, Surrey. Okay, now I want this with the aerial screensaver. You can enjoy HD video of beautiful locations from all over the world. Additional videos can be downloaded automatically. Now, this was something I was really, really excited about when I started reading about the new Apple TV. And basically, this allows live screensavers. I don't know if you could tell from that picture or not, but this screensaver here is actually moving in the background. So uh, after a couple of minutes, a screensaver will kick on. I'll try to zoom in for you to see if you guys can see that live screensaver. 
It's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge here in San Francisco. So, I like those. I would like it to automatically download. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Diagnostics, eh. It's up to you. Send, don't send. Warranty, agree. Terms and conditions, agree. Okay, bang! There we go. Everything's set up. We're all good to go. And uh, again, there's no directional up, down, left, right. It just all seems to be uh, gesture controls. For instance, like moving like this, left, right. And as you can see, it'll go ahead and correspond with that on the screen. Just moving my hands left, right. It's actually pretty cool. Nice uh, 3D parallax effect. And anything you want, you just go up and then come down. Let's try Siri out. So I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna hold down the Siri button here and talk and let's see. Show action movies. Oh, and there you go. It says at the bottom here are some action movies, right? Uh, let's try show James Bond movies. And there are, I found some James Bond movies. So it's pretty cool, right? So if you're looking for anything, you don't have to filter and go through that iTunes store and shuffle around. You could just literally speak to it and then, um, it'll find it for you. Like, let's, uh, show the Sopranos. Right, awesome show. Bang, look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna download a quick game and uh, we'll see how that looks like. But basically you just set it up. Like I said, I got this more for uh, streaming purposes, you know, so I could stream my iTunes library. And uh, yeah, I, got, I just wanted to show you guys really quick uh, what this looks like. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna go to the App Store really quick and download a game. Okay, so I'm in the App Store and I'm gonna buy Beat Sports for $10. I hear it's really cool and I'm gonna try this out. Now, you guys can't see my password and stuff. Get out of here. Okay, so I just bought Beat Sports. It's supposed to be really cool and uh, that way you use the new controller just like a uh, Wii remote. You swing your hand and you gesture, gesture controls. I'm not gonna show you the game because this isn't about the game. And also, I don't know if these guys have copyright issues or any of that stuff. So anyways, this is just me unboxing and the setup of the new 32 gigabyte Apple TV. And I'm gonna play this and you guys go away. And uh, Apple TV is great for streaming any of your uh, iTunes library on this device. Or if you have other media on your computer you could stream it to this downloading the plex app and installing the app on um your computer as well on top of that you can airplay anything from your ios device so if you have an iphone i know it's a little dark how about that okay so if you have an iphone or you have an ipad you know and you want to share pictures you know um you could just take the pictures on here hit airplay and it will show on your apple tv anything on your iOS device you can mirror to the Apple TV so it's great so if you went on vacation somewhere and you have a bunch of pictures and um, let's say I will show you guys this like for instance I have a picture of the Juggernog Addic Edition uh, Xbox One anyway so yeah I have this picture here and then uh, you know I could hit this button right here and then I could hit airplay so I'll hit airplay and bang and it's asking me where, it's asking me where, and I will hit family room. There it is on my television. So yeah, it's great. If you have pictures and you wanna show a bunch of people instead of passing around your uh, iPad or iPhone or your iOS device, you could just simply do that. Okay, so anyways, that's it guys. And if you like my video, then like my video. I'm gonna go ahead and play this game. So go away. All right guys, 